you guys had to come back and do a part two. Y'all already know they cut me off. And, you know, so I just had to, and then I had to wait for the system to do whatever. Because when it does that, I have to just do a hard, um, a hard close. Meaning I had to press the button. And I hate doing that, but, so, but we, we're not going to know. No, no, we're not going to give the glory to no devil. The glory goes to God this morning, right? Praise God all the time. So, anywho, let's get back. This is part two of it. So, basically what I was saying is you have to stay strong in this hour because the enemy knows that you're hit. And God allowed it. And but God's, you know, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. You know how much faith that God has to have in you to allow the enemy. Excuse me, I, Excuse me. Oh, Lord, excuse me. You know how much faith you have to have, have God, uh, the faith that God has in you. When the enemy goes to him and say, well, check out my servant Deanna, I'll check out my servant whomever. And the enemy says this, because he's the, he's the accuser of the brother, and God say, go ahead, test him and try him, but touch not their life. That's faith that God is putting into you. And they're watching both sides. Kingdom of God is watching and the kingdom of the devil is watching. Kingdom of darkness is watching to see what you're going to do. Who are you really going to be? Who's really going to win your soul? Come on, somebody. That's what it's all about. It's about your soul. They don't care if you go to church. They don't care about this. They don't care about that. And when I say them, I'm talking about the devil. God cares. God cares if you are saved for real. Because a lot of people, the Bible says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You know what that means? Okay. I, I believe in God. But I'm not quite sure if he's really powerful. Excuse me. I believe in God. But I'm going to this job more than I'm going to church. I believe in serving God, but I'm not going to serve him. I believe in living for God, but I'm going to still do what I do when I do what I do. That's not, that's not worshiping. That's not serving. When you really love God, and I'm telling you the process that I've had to go through and still going through. Because remember, we talked about that earlier. I'm, 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 in, I'm scared of people that's 90, 100, or even 80, or 60, or 70. I've learned God. I don't know how, honey. When God is God. And he said, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. God wants us to mature in this hour. God wants, as a matter of fact, this is, this is where we're at as well. And all this is part of the thus said the Lord. We're always watching everybody else, critiquing everybody else, what they're doing, what they're not doing. If they're with God, if they're not with God. Now, if you're a prophet, you got to say what you got to say. That's true. But truth be told, in this hour, in this moment, this last hour, God is wanting a face-to-face -face experience with you. I'm not saying he's not going to use people like me. I'm not saying he's not going to use pre preachers, teachers, apostles, prophets, all that. I'm not saying that. But for real, for real, if they're not telling you this, then somebody lying. In this hour, God wants to reintroduce himself to you. I'm your father. I made you. I ordained you. I sustained you. Those clothes on your back, that food on your table, that breath in your body. Come on, somebody that I blew in and still blew. Because don't you know when you sleep, you are in a state of comatose, which is a state of death. I'm the one allowed the angels to say, touch her, touch him. Do you know how blessed you are? Soon, soon, soon as your day begins, that's why every morning, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you, you for allowing the angel to touch me or touch her. Because there's two, y'all might not know this. There's two beings that be by your bed in the morning, all through the night. But they're spirits. You have the angels of God, the protections of God, and you have one spirit of death. Just to say, hold on, I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just telling you what I see in the spirit. Because on that day of your death, my death, God did the same, yay or nay, don't touch him. So one of them is going to touch you. Either the spirit of the angel, wake up, or the spirit of death. No, the angel is going to leave the room, the spirit of death. You ready to take them? Nah, this should really touch your spirit. If two are standing by the bed, and we know they are, it's like there's a good kingdom and a bad kingdom. What do you think the spirit of death takes you? 
to hell is in all black. The angel of the Lord takes you to heaven. Oh, Lord, hold on, y'all. Did they doing something to my computer? Hold on, I can't even see. Hold on, y'all, hold on. Oh, these people, they crazy. Okay, they did something just now. So wait off for a minute. That's great because I'm teaching you things that God have taught me. I'm not great. I'm just like you, my sister. I'm just like you, my brother. But I do this for real. I love God for real. And truth be told, that's all we got is God. I'm not saying people don't love you. I'm not saying people don't like you. I'm not saying people won't help you. But at the end of the day, if y'all don't see that spirit of apostasy and selfishness, then you don't want to see. Your best bet is God. And this is how you operate. God will send the people in your life. God will send people that love you. God will send people that help you. God will send people that help that pray for you. God will send people that help you be accountable. And go tell you, even with your good looking self, your ugly self sometimes, and all the other things, the truth. God says, the world cannot receive the spirit of truth because it doesn't know it. But you know my truth, God says. But whether we walk in it, and that's what that's what biblical application is, it's called. When you're walking in what you have learned and believe in, that's serving him. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I know it's tight, but it's right. So when you get hit, that's when you got to stay strong in the Lord. Okay, so we're fasting. Today is the 16th day. Right after this fast, I'm listen to me, and I'll put it out there for today. Right after this fast, we, that, that next day, we're starting the next fast. I'm not even playing no more. The next day, we're starting another 21-day fast. If God tell you to do it, fine. If God tell you not to, that's fine too. The next day. Never did it that way. It's too much going on. And the devil thinks that he's running things. And we, the remnant of God, is about to make him think again. Well, why, why, why do you think all the darts, the fiery darts, been thrown? The enemy don't throw fiery darts against people that are not anointed. He already got them. He ain't got to be doing all that. But when you are anointed, even in the midst of so-called people that love you or like you, what was happening with David and Saul? David playing the harp, getting rid of his evil demons, his evil spirits, okay? And this fool throws a, 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 a javelin. Missed him, because you know the Holy Spirit. Of, come on, somebody, I'm going to get just, well, we the real swishers. Now I can't got nothing on that swish. The, the Holy Spirit, the diverse something so cool, make your head spin. Every time that stuff starts, just get shh. <laughs> I ain't lying. I put something in your spirit this morning. How to stand strong. How to have tenacity. And how to forgive people that say they love you, say they like you, say they helping you. And, 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 and they two edge. What's a two edge? They like you sometimes, but they don't like you most of the time. To my family, friends, whomever. In 2022, as for me, <laughs> if you are not consistent in my life, I don't need you in my life. You heard me. And I'm, I'll love you, but go over there. I'm going to love you over there. Okay, we're going to love you over there. There. That's not of God. Why isn't it? That's what's wrong with the church today. You have to learn. You have to learn how to make good choices, and always do the spirit of God. That's why the scriptures are really real. The scripture says, "Test the spirit by the spirit, and then you will know if it is of God." That's too many, too many of us getting hit. Now, when the hits are coming and they're coming from the enemy, we know that's to be expected. But some of that stuff is out doing. We're not making the right choices because we're doing what we want to do. And then when we get hit, we cry. I'll be, God, why? And God like, you didn't even, you didn't even ask me. You just went straight in. And we've all been guilty of it just because we think it's God. 
It looked like God. It sounded like God. It feel like God. Heck, we need it to be God. Let's just let this, let's put that one there. It could be from a man to a woman. You know, doggone well, God didn't send that person. But maybe it's God. <laughs> and we know. You know in your spirit. And that's how we waste time, too. Messing around with things and people that's not of God. The enemy is a time waster. He's, he's, he's three things. A destroyer, a time wasting, and a distraction. Mm -hmm. Because the whole thing is to get your focus off of God and into that situation. That man, that woman, that this, that's that. Because, but not knowing that when you keep your eyes on Jesus, he has his eyes on all that stuff for you. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to go through anything because he's going to give you, he's going to download the information concerning, excuse me, each individual, each person, and each test, and each trial, and each tribulation. He's going to tell you how to get out of it and in it. Sometimes he'll put you in stuff. Sometimes he'll take you out of stuff. Sometimes he'll allow things to happen. And 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 stop doing this too. When things happen to people, don't be thinking, oh, I wonder what they did. Maybe they ain't did nothing but the right thing. I don't know what Bible y'all reading. But my Bible says that in this world, the believers will have much tribulation. Did you read that in your Bible? Because I read it in mine. He said, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome them all. I like that part too. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. But be of good cheer, my brother. Be of good cheer, my sister. They're supposed to do what they do. But we're supposed to do what we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I thought... I thought I was going to cave in this year. I can't lie to you. I'm very transparent on purpose. Not, not just has anything to do with you. I just love God. So when you love God, you love God's people enough to tell them the truth. I really, I felt myself trying to give up. I felt myself just like, I can't explain it to y'all. Like, maybe this is it. Maybe I went as far as I'm supposed to go. And maybe, but it was through my music. And God know, God, God, God something else here. I love God. The prophecy is was in 2006 or seven. I'm not really sure. From a prophet out of Oakland, California. He said you got two ministries. He said you got singing in you, and you got ministry. Now this is the trip that part. I don't say I don't tell this story a lot, but I'm gonna tell it to this morning. He said, let me tell you how he said it. So I went there to sing. Right, this when I first started. Y'all, I was shy. I was scared. So I get up on there, and I've never told this story publicly, but I'm telling it today. I tell you, God made me tell everything. And so anyway, what ended up happening is I got up there, and I was like, none coming out loud. And everybody looked at me. I, I, was, I didn't, the fear, you know, I could say, but it was the fear, right? And so I was so embarrassed. And people looked at me like, well, you don't sit yourself down. You ain't even trying to sing. No, you just, you know, I don't know. I got frightened, I guess, or whatever. And so anyway, he came up there. And be careful to judge people because he didn't look like he had a lot of money and stuff. So I kind of, I was kind of like, okay, he gonna prophesy to me, and I was wrong. Found out that real quick. That man of God, you got two ministries, and he said the power of God gonna hit you. And when he did like this, I fell to the ground. I said, oh, that's when I stopped judging people about how they look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause a lot of y'all do that. If they look like they got money, they must be anointed. There's some of the biggest devils in the world. But I, I let me stay on the story. And when, when I came up, I was just crying. And I felt God. And so fast forward this year. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to, I hope I don't get emotional. I'm trying not to. Before Daddy died, Daddy said, Dean, Deanna, well, he called me Deanie. Mama called me Deanie, he called me Deanie. He never called me Deanna, Deanie. That's my nickname. He said, do your music. God blessed you with it. Stop giving up. And the reason why, I had gave up on it, on the music part. It's because my teachings and what I say, people get offended. Even in the music, you you can get blackballed so quick because just like in government, let's be real. You don't say what they want you to say. You don't do what they want you to do. I've had people sh shut it down. I'm just gonna be real with you. So it was like, but this time I heard God say, start again and finish. So I finished the CD. That was a real thing because if you knew how much warfare I had with that. But I'm saying this to say, it was the music that pulled me through. I wrote every song. 
No, the Holy Spirit wrote every song. We wrote it together. I am a conqueror. I wrote it 15 minutes, y'all. Not even and went to the thing in uh, the studio the next day and sung it in like 10. That was God. That wasn't me. So God knew that the pain, I would use it for the music. And music is such a powerful medium. And I'm not just trying to sell a CD. When you listen to that CD, you're listening to the Spirit of God in every song. Because when I go in there, I pray. When I go in there, I don't play with God. It is the Spirit of God. When I did uh, Clarion Call, and this has never happened, I sat down and I, the engineer, he just turned around and looked at me. I didn't know what to do because I was like full-fledged crying. The Spirit of God was so powerful. That's what helped me out. God, he said, now do your music. Because I was so... I miss my dad. I love my dad. My dad was not perfect. My uncles were not perfect. My aunt was not perfect. But, And then surrounding the, the situations that I couldn't go to three of them, but my dad, because my dad was sick, it was very hurtful. So, and then my family, you know, y'all can imagine. So I'm saying all this to say, I'm just giving you a history. So there's a mystery about what I've been through. But notice what I say, through. Because when you got God, you don't stay in that stuff. You go through it because he'll show you how to do it. And that's what this video is all about. Encouragement. Not no gloom, gloom and stuff like that. Uh, although it's going to have some little, some, some things that you need. Because what, what you don't understand to, to make food. All right. If you really used each ingredient, right, and tasted it, everything don't taste good by itself. But when you mix it all together, the good and the bad, honey, it, it, it comes out real good. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm a chef, so y'all know I got to work it in there. And that's the truth. But if you taste some of the ingredients by yourself, you'd be like, I don't like that. But when you put them all together, and you, at, at God's instructions, come on, somebody, hallelujah, it's going to come out just like he wanted to come out and, and, and like you never thought, because that's what God will do. I, I can't believe I feel the peace I feel. I can't believe I feel the anointing I feel. I can't believe I feel the love I feel from God and from a few people, and that's good because you don't need a lot. You see, the world teaches us that we need more money, more honey, more funny, more this, more that. Can I tell you something? The blessed times in my life, and I'm not saying I don't want to be blessed to the whatever, whatever God allows at this point. I just thank God because he's never left me and he's never let me down. I may not have everything. I may not have who. I might not have what. But I thank you, God, for the peace. I thank you, God, for the favor. I thank you, God, you didn't let the enemy kill me could have when he was justified because I was in sin. I thank you for God keeping me even when I fall short. I thank you God for when I fall you pick me up you say you start again baby. Start again. Get up. Get up. You're still who I called you to be. Get up. Get up. You're still, that's what he's saying to you. Get up. Get up man of God. Get up woman of God. Get up child of God. You are still who I've called you to be. Yeah I know you went through it. I know they lied on you. I know you did some of that stuff too. Mm. That's it. You become real with God, it becomes real to you. Tell him everything he already know anyway. Every time I do something, I got no business. I'm just being real. Like I said, it could be a word, a thought. But y'all know me. If I feel the conviction, and I do, immediately, God, I repent. I did something, I had no business. Maybe I said something, maybe I, maybe I didn't obey you in that area. Stop front with God. Let me make it right. And he'll always, I told you this the last video, T.D. Jakes taught me this when I was in L.A. in, the, um, in 2003, 4, 5. Always go back to the beginning. What is the beginning? What is the last thing God told you to do? So whenever you get confused, whenever you, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. I, I didn't made a mess because you know we be making mess. You know that. We do. We try it, but it don't work out, and it's a whole mess. You cannot get yourself out. Best man of God, woman of God, child of God. It has to be God. So you got to go back to God, the source. God, tell me what to do. But you got to be obedient. I got that shirt, fast, pray, and obey. That's so real because that's what he told me. He said, fast, pray, and obey. And then after you do that, ask God for clarification and confirmation. I'm going to say it again. Ask God for clarification and confirmation. Clarification so you understand what God said and you don't just, well, I think, no. You got to know. Because God is very direct, very precise. Hallelujah. And then confirmation. God, show me it's real. 
I, I know I heard you. Now, let me see it's real. I asked God for confirmation of my son. I ain't going to lie. It blew my mind. I was not, as a matter of fact, I was waiting for the opposite. Because sometimes we do that, right? We, we want some, but then we'd be like, Shh. Excuse me. But when I said God confirmed something, I was like, I was kind of stuck for a minute. Like, oh. Then I'm like, I don't know God. Like, I know more than God. I had to rebuke myself for even thinking that. Okay, God. It's your will, your way. Just like in the Garden of Gethsemane when he kept saying, if this cup could pass from me, but nevertheless, thy will be done. That's what we instructed and commanded to say, people of God. We don't get to say, well, I don't know, God. Uh, maybe next week, maybe later. And that's, and that's what we've done. The church has got complacent. That's why anything can come out of your mouth before God, as if he's not God. Hallelujah. Well, I'm not going to keep y'all too long. I just want to um, tell y'all this, but God is so good. And it has been rough. I'm, I'm not a liar, so I'm not a person that like to copy and perpetrate and act like this or act like that. It has been, it's been a real hard year. I ain't lying. If I could have break, I probably would have, but he wouldn't let me. And I thank God for it because he loves us that much that when you're going through, he's actually carrying you through. You think you're walking through. You think you're talking through. He really carrying you. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. At night, he's taking his hand. I'm telling you, this is what God showed me. When we're laying down at night, God's taking his hand and removing the worry and the doubt. And he's building you up. And he's putting his spirit over your spirit. Strengthen you. Keep you. Protect you. Hallelujah. God is always mending you back together, making you strong in every area of your life, mentally, physically, spiritually, em emotionally, economically, financially. God has given you ideas. You have an assignment. You have some assignments. You have one mandate and a lot of assignments. That is all you're supposed to be doing on this earth. Not worrying about the world, who's doing this, who's doing that, although the world is good. Oh, they're good. They're good at trying to distract you with all this other stuff. And I'm not saying don't be concerned because, no, we're supposed to watch. We're not of this world, so I can't let that stuff get into my spirit. And when I do fall or when I do make bad choices, I'm going straight to God. God, I repent. Help me make this thing right. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to say that. I repent. Don't lie. But you know it was because of no. It's time to be accountability so you can have responsibility in understanding what is your role as a servant of God. Because that's what we are. We ain't no stars. I'm sorry. You're not a celebrity. I know people be thinking they are. Not in the kingdom of God. Now you go do that in the kingdom of the world and you see what they do to these celebrities. They use them and discard them. And it's sad. And they'll do it just for the money. I don't care if I go to hell. I don't care if I got to sacrifice a family member or somebody close to me that I care about and love. I want that down. So I can show people that I'm flossing like a boss. They're going to be in hell and they won't be well. Better get it together. Because time is winding down. Jesus is coming. And I know people say, well, we've been hearing that. Yeah, you have. But one thing about life, sooner or later, <laughs> it's coming. And that's in everything, right? Sooner or later. That's why people, when they're doing stuff, I say sooner or later. Either tomorrow or next week or whenever God allow it. No one gets away with anything. Not even me. No one. God repays us all. Trust me on that one. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. That's why our obligation is to pray. Our main position is to stay in prayer, fasting, reading our word, praying for people, interceding, standing in the gap. I told y'all I got a whole paper in my Bible where I take some oil. I know I'm always packing. Look at that. Always. Always. All up. When, when I die, they, they touch my body. It's going to be so much oil coming out. <laughs> but, um. I pray over that, that name, the names. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus. With a light arm, because you know you keep doing it heavy. The paper, the paper going to tear anyway over a time period. But pray over you. And what I do for family members, let's say my sisters, I put the Dixon family, the Dixon and her family, my, my Latronica Dixon and her family, Sharonda Brandon and her family. I, that's what I do. I, 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 I do that. To, you know, that way you ain't got to name all the names. But it's time to stand in the gap for people like never before. I got to go, y'all. I'm feeling some kind of way. But God is good. God is good. So, um, God bless you. God keep you. Stay strong. We don't have no choice. <laughs> I mean, you do, but you don't. Because I'm not going to hell. Mm -mm. I like barbecue. I ain't trying to eat barbecue. And that's another thing, too. I told y'all before the end of this month that I was gone vacant. But guess what, y'all? It's really happening. After this month, Starting next year, I'm going to be meat-free. Now, I, now, if I get married, I'm going to cook it for them, but I don't want to eat it. And I don't have to eat I don't have to because I'm a seasoned specialist. Look, I didn't say a specialist. Did I? But, yes, I want to just eat better. I want to watch what I put in my body. That's what I'm saying. God is, when I sing my song, The Conqueror, I say I see a new me. I didn't understand why God made me write that in there. I do now. I see a new me. 2022, y'all gonna see it too. In every capacity, mostly spiritual. Oh yeah, go ahead and dress up your outside a little bit, do whatever. But even as thy soul prospers, that that's our first and foremost thing: your relationship with God and your spirit and your soul, man. Because everything else is not worth it. And if I don't, I'm getting ready to say this before I get off of here. When somebody loves you, men and women of God, you ain't gotta chase them. You ain't got to run after them. You ain't got to beg them. You ain't got to try to bomb. You ain't got to, God, please give them to me. I want them, God. Oh, they fine. I love them. Y'all, I don't act like y'all all ain't did it. We all did it. Please, God, please. That's all I want. That's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> Honey, can I tell you something? And I know what I'm talking about. Although I don't have anyone in my life at this moment, I'm a single woman. Real love, you ain't got to do all that. And truth be told, it starts in the spirit first. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I didn't know that because back in the day, you know, you just sitting there, ooh. Because I told y'all about the time I went eat out. And, um, you know, you never read it for it. There was a fine guy. I'm talking about he was fine, y'all. And he came to the table. And I looked up. And I just started speaking to him. I said, my friend said, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm trying to Hey, what's wrong with you? You all see, you all see this? <laughs> so, I understand people are fine, got good credit scores, everybody likes them, they are the keeper. But nothing like when God do it in the spirit and he puts a, a man or a woman name in your spirit. And I'm not going to lie to you. At first, it'd be like, I don't know about them, God. He mean, he be saying too much stuff. That I don't appreciate. I think he's very anointed and appointed. One minute he had like he likes somebody. The next minute I don't know if I'm the biggest whatever. So anywho. It'll be in the spirit first. And God will never tell everybody else. Without telling you first. Let me say that again. For all you pastors and preachers. And everybody be putting people together. Knowing you be doing too much. God will always tell you first. Now, he'll tell them as a confirmation. But never, because I, and I've been around churches, you can't tell me nothing. They'd be like, you know, this brother and this sister, y'all, y'all will make a good, the church that puts so many marriages together and, and people just staying together just because, so say God did it. God will never ask you to stay in anything that abuse you, misuse you, or confuse you. Somebody put that up in, in the um, comments. I'm going to say it again. God will never ask you to stay or put you with anybody. Let's just put it like it is. God will never ordain a marriage for abuse, misuse, or confusion. I'm going to say it again. Abuse, misuse, or confusion. That's not God. Stop lying on God. He told me to tell you. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, wait on God. It is so important because people are getting killed. You guys funny. Even men and women of God. Wait on God. And I don't care what y'all say. Well, I don't want nobody. You lie. You know how I know you lie? Because God made us and God said it is not good, man, to be alone. That's why y'all be snapping and, and doing stuff. I'm trying to speak in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. 
But when you have somebody that just loves you and y'all just be looking at each other, how you doing? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's just really, because when it's first in the spirit, then it has to flow to the natural. And truth be told, most of the time God will send you somebody that you don't even like. You'll be like, that boy crazy, that woman crazy. But in the spirit, you don't know if that's just what you need. And as you get to know each other, you'll find out y'all have more in common than probably not. But just quit hurting your own spirit and quit breaking your own spirit by waiting for somebody that don't like you. Waiting for somebody that don't love you. Waiting for somebody, he ain't give you no inclination. She ain't give you no inclination and you still like, that, that, that's the one that's the one. In three or four years, they ain't give you no inclination. That ain't the one, my brother. That ain't the one, my sister. Because the one going to take that chance because they know God put it in their spirit and they trust God. Come on, just say something. So when you trust God like that, then you know it's good. So love yourself enough to wait. Love yourself not to put yourself through anything that God would not sin. And for people that say God don't tell you to get divorced, I don't believe that. Because I didn't want to get divorced in 2012. But I never forget what God said as I was laying that bed. I was looking at Gruffalo Doll. I never forget that day because you're about to make a major decision. Sometimes just your whole body get, you know, feel sick. You know, and just, you just, because you know, because you can say what you want. Emotions do weigh you down. So I never forget. This is what Gruffalo Dollar was saying on the TV. And I know he was talking to me <laughs> through the TV. That, uh, that was ordained that day. He said, he's a sex addict. He'll never be faithful with me. My husband, my ex-husband was, so I was just looking like, did that man just say that on the TV? Because I, I, I'm in a bed praying, God, we married. I'm sure you can save this man. And God's, and God's telling me, then I listen. So I had to put aside what I thought, what I felt, or what I could do as a woman, because we had a nice home, everything. I'm thinking, everything was everything. Everybody could ask anybody. Buy new cars, everything was just seemed so perfect, but it was so, it was so not real. So anywho, let me tell you. So... Not only that, I never forget the last thing God told me. He said, Deanna, he don't want me like you want me. It'll never work. You'll never be who I've called you to be. I could still bless it, but you'll never be who I've called you to be. And when I heard that, that's when I knew I was going to do what I had to do with, with tears in my eyes. Even though he was mistreating me and doing this stuff, love is still love. It's still a loss. And I never forget. I said, God, I'm going to do it. Just give me the strength. And it was hurtful and it was hard. It was. Even though I, I you know, I mean, because we weren't even equally yoked. And I promised God from that day forth, I said, God, I would never get married again unless you ordain me. And I have kept my promise thus far. And I will to the day I die. If he plans to send somebody, Look, Negro, I'm, I'm going to say it now so this could be recorded. you got to come through God. You can't come through this way, family, friend, even me. You have to come through God because he's going to have to do everything. He got to literally wake me up. Yes, God. I think he's the one. He's the one. You show God. Can you give me another sign? <laughs> y'all know y'all be saying it. Can you give me another sign? God just told you. Can you give me another sign? I know you God, but you, you I've been doing a lot. <laughs> so, but I, I don't know why God, I do, I do know why God made me. Somebody going to look at this because you, 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 you're about to make that decision. And everybody telling me, you know what scripture say? You know what? That man almost killed me. If it had not been for his daughter coming in that garage, he was, he had the knife like this and he was gone because he had already beat me. I didn't even know your head could swell. I, 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 I threw away the pictures because I didn't want to look at them. My head was literally this big, and I'm not lying. I didn't even know your head could get big like that. My head was this big. I went to work, just started. I was trying to put on makeup. Everything was looking crazy. I, I was so far gone because all I know is I had to still survive. I had to still go to work. People was looking at me at work like, are you okay? And I'm not. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I lied to them. I said, oh, I got allergies. I got allergies. They knew I had no allergies. They knew somebody had beat the heck out of me. But getting back to that to that day. He, had, he was gone He for nothing. He just was an angry person, not happy with his life. So long story short, but that day, I think I found out he lied about being fired and he just quit. And I was like, dude, 
the stuff is always on me. You know, I get the point. So anyway, he had the knife like this, and he was about to stab me, and I saw he was gone. As a matter of fact, I'm not My life flashed, and all I could think about was my daughter. And I think about everything. I said, I'm going to die. I just knew I was going to die. When that little girl opened that door, she said, Daddy. And he looked at her. And she said, Daddy. And that's when he snapped out of it. And, I, I, and I, he dropped the knife. And I said, oh, my God. She just saved my life. So y'all can't tell me nothing. You know? Yeah, I know scripture. I know what Moses, I know, I, I know all that. But I also know God will never, ever tell you this thing that might kill you. Period. So whoever this is for. Because you're going to look at this. Ask God to make you strong to do what you have to do. Don't worry about family. Don't worry about friends. Because everybody, I ain't going to lie to you. People trying to keep us together. I was looking at them like, because I kept hearing God. And they kept trying to make me think that I was crazy. And they was coming with the scriptures. My mentor, they were sitting to the table, everything. And I remember just getting up screaming and saying, I don't want to hear no more. I know what God is saying. So I did that by myself. Nobody, well, my daughter, she was about the only one, but everybody else wanted me to stay with that man. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Went to the pastor, went to his pastor. I can't do it. But you know, I know what y'all saying, but I know what I hear God say. So that's for you, sister, whoever you are. Go, go with God. He got you. All right, so I'm not going to keep y'all. God bless you all. I love you all. That's why I do this. I do this because I love God. But if you love God, you love God's people. So I, my prayer, let me go ahead and pray out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, that's very important. Thank you, Jesus. Especially in this day and age. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Hallelujah. Somebody just got to, you just got to, you just got to moan sometimes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, first of all, we just thank you, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. Excuse me. Father God, I repent of anything we may have said or done, knowingly or unknowingly, Father God, that offend you or anyone else. Father God, please forgive us. Restore us. Rebuke us. Correct us. Inspect us and check us, God. Father God, I pray for everybody that's on this life and those that will listen. Father God, we need you. We need you. Not, not just stuff. Yeah, we need bills paid. We need money. Let's be honest. But we need you, God. We need the power. We need healing. We need deliverance of our mind, our soul, our body, our hearts. God said, a lot of you have broken hearts because people have done you wrong. Spouses, people, just people been a trip lately. I know. I know y'all can't tell me that. I know too. I'm going to tell you this. God said, forgive them. And he going to deal with them. Stop being angry. Stop being mad. Stop saying things. Quit talking about them. Quit doing that. Yeah, at first you do that. Let's be real. But get over it now and just give it to God because God forgave you. God saved you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God forgives our thoughts, the bad things we say sometimes. And I don't have to curse. It's just talking about somebody when you could be helping them. So, Father God, I pray for everybody to be healed and delivered in every capacity, finances, emotions, even relationships, family. Heal the family, the family. Hallelujah. And what I say, in, in, because whenever I have some speaking tongues, they must interpret I say, God, move on families, especially in this hour, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Father God, I just thank you, God. Strengthen your people. Heal your people. Forgive your people. Protect your people, God. Father God, we pray for our, our unsaved family members. God, please save them. This is a wicked world out there, and in the church, truth be told, because that's where the devil is. You can say what you want. It just seeped outside. But Father God, we know that you're not going to let your church... No, you say we come in power. We're going out in power in Jesus' name. But, Father God, please send somebody, even if it's not us, send somebody to speak a word, to water, to plant, to sow into their lives. We stand in the gap for them, God. We'll pray for them until then because we know that they can't hear to pray for themselves right now because Satan has blinded their minds, their spirits, God. But we ask that you open, you open them in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Father God, we ask you to close all portals over all these states and counties that are opening up. The witches, the warlocks, even the, the ones that, that's in churches, that's over the church. They're opening these portals. Father God, we pray that you send more angels ascending and descending and stop these portals and stop 
the lawlessness, stop the crime, stop the sacrifice of rappers and all kind of people. People are being sacrificed, y'all. That's not just hits. That's sacrifice. All about money. What they're doing is they're paying a brother or they're paying whoever. Take them out. Hallelujah. But God. I'm going to say it again. But God. But remember, the sword must return to the sword. So you, so you got to understand. Whatever people have done must come back to them. So you pray for them. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So Father God, we just pray for all the leaders. Leaders, leaders, leaders. If it ain't God, it ain't real. Hallelujah, I'm going to say it again. If it ain't God, it ain't real. We don't need your opinion. We don't need your emotions. We don't need your anger. We don't need your hoodness. We don't need your streetness. We need God. Hallelujah. Have you spent time with God? Are you? Do you have the spirit of God? Quit perpetrating all this foolishness. People don't need that in their spirit. You need the anointing of God. That's what changes. That's what heals. That's what delivers. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. God, we thank you, we give you honor, we give you praise, God, for you are worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I said this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. And Father God, for all those that have needs in healing, deliverance, finances, just in their mind to stop worrying, to stop stressing, anxiety, I rebuke all that in the name of Jesus. So-called mental illness, I rebuke it. I sever it to the root of that thing. Be healed. No more mind-binding demons in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed. Yeah, it can happen through this. Because the spirit is the spirit. is transferable. Hallelujah. Heal them. Deliver them. Restore them. We double for their trouble in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. I seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb. By saying amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All right, so be blessed, stay with God, be encouraged, stay strong, fall, get back up, fall, get back up, fall, get back up. All right, y'all know what time it is. It's General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is true who we are. Mm, we ain't gonna never stop. True soldiers, we don't die. <laughs> we multiply. <laughs> I didn't wait old school. Oh, y'all know I'm silly. Have a blessed day.